Welcome to the AJ Antunis Model SS400TT Surface Steamer Interactive Service Training Module. In this training module, you'll learn both the basics and the specifics of installing, programming, troubleshooting. To operate the unit, place the power switch, which is located on the primary control panel, in the on position. The display will indicate LO until the operating temperature is reached. Once the unit has reached the proper operating temperature, the cycle time will appear in the display. Select the desired channel by pressing the appropriate channel key. Lift open the bun cap and place the cut side of the buns down onto the flipper, then close the bun cap. Press the steam activation button to start a steam cycle. The display will be steam generators start to operate poorly, perform the following procedure. Open the bun cap and flipper and pour two ounces of carbonated water from any clean container onto the steam generators. Allow the water to boil off the generators. Make sure not to touch any keys. Repeat this procedure as many times as necessary until the generators are cleaned and seasoned properly. You'll be able to determine that the generators are seasoned correctly when you see a fine white coating of 7 volts DC is supplied from the J8 connector on the main control board through a 4-pin wire harness to the solid-state relay input terminals A+, A-, B plus and B minus. Once energized, the solid state relay terminals A plus, red wire number 01, to the A minus, orange wire number 02, and B plus, red wire number 03, to the B minus, yellow wire 04, causes A1 and A2. Position and unplug the unit. You'll need to gain access to the electronic components. Place the unit on its side and click on the primary and secondary false bottoms, rubber legs, and weldment plates to gain access to the electronic compartment. First, let's check the solid state relay and make sure the internal connections are not shorted closed from the unit overheating. Disconnect the 4-pin terminal plug from the solid-state relay. Plug the unit in and turn the power switch to the on position. Using an amp meter, clamp the meter onto wires number 05 and number 06 individually. If the meter indicates a reading higher than 1.0 amps, the solid-state relay needs to be replaced. 